Hello, everybody. My name is Matthias Seller, and I welcome you to my presentation of the paper Radar Tracker for moving instance tracking in sparse and noisy radar point clouds. The awareness and tracking of moving objects in the surrounding of a self driving vehicle is essential for safe and reliable autonomous navigation in real world environments. Cameras and LIDARs are useful sensors for autonomous vehicles most of the time. And machine learning based perception system make tremendous progress within recent years and provide reliable scene understanding. However, cameras and LIDARs face limitation under adverse weather. Therefore, another sensor modality is required to overcome the shortcomings. Radar sensors overcome these limitations and work reliably under adverse weather, including rain, fog, and snow. And additionally, they are already available in serious production vehicles. Furthermore, radar sensors also directly provide a Doppler velocity, which is an important information for tracking. And radar sensors provide radar cross-section values, which depend on the material and the shape of the object, which helps to differentiate between different moving agents, but also track them over time. A serious drawback, however, is that the radar scans are affected by noise due to ego motion, sensor noise, and multipath propagation. As indicated by all the measurements with Doppler velocity vectors besides the actual objects, as you can also see in the reference image. Current state of the art methods often address moving instance tracking within aggregated scans and associate instances in existing tracks based on the intersection over the union score. However, the processing of aggregated scan induces latency. This is disadvantages for tasks which rely on low latencies such as collision avoidance. The sparse measurements make commonly used IU-based tracking difficult, since complete instances can comprise just a single detection and therefore no overlap exists. To overcome this limitation, we propose a transformer-based architecture which extracts valuable instance features from sparse and noisy point clouds. To further enhance the performance, we include appearance and geometric features in the tracking. The overall architecture of our radar tracker splits up into four parts. The backbone, the attentive instance network, the instance similarity module, and the data association. As backbone, we utilize the current state-of-the-art radar instance transformer to detect moving instances. The input is primarily the current scan with X and Y coordinates, Doppler velocity, and RCS values, which we enrich by temporal information of previous scans. The output of the backbone are the semantic and instance predictions. We extend the approach to also include offset predictions, where especially the temporal offset helps to track instances. The attentive instance network utilizes transformer block and an attentive sampling strategy to extract for each instance a feature vector. We encode these feature vectors as queries and keys, as you might know from traditional point cloud attention mechanism. We add the positional encoding R and pass it through a sigmoid function to calculate the appearance cost between the individual instances. Where we want to have a low tracking cost for the same instance based on the features and a high cost for different tracks. Hence the appearance cost depends on the attentive similarity between the tracks. Our final tracker then combines the appearance and the geometric features to assign the tracking IDs within the data association. To enhance the tracking performance, we first introduce the temporal offset prediction to improve geometric tracking. Besides the well-known offset prediction within the same scan to perform, for example, instance clustering, we also predict the temporal offset of the points. The temporal offset points to the center of the instance within the next scan. Therefore, we can learn where the object is located in the future and based on that do the geometric matching of the instances. Furthermore, the temporal offset includes an additional motion cue especially for instances comprising single detection where the commonly used offset is zero, we still regress a temporal offset vector. Due to this additional motion queue, we further improve the semantic segmentation performance. For tracking, we directly integrate the offset prediction into the association and rely within small distances on the geometric features. However, to further enhance the association, especially within larger placements of objects, we integrate appearance features. A common problem is, for example, occlusion, as you can see in this example. Since the offset prediction cannot be updated because the car is not visible, the geometric features might lead to an error. However, including the appearance feature based on the attention 
we can overcome this limitation and we can correctly assign the instance ID. Therefore, for large displacements, we include the appearance features to enhance the overall tracking performance. We perform the evaluation on the radar scenes data set and compare our radar tracker with state of the art methods based on the LSTQ segmentation and tracking quality. Our method enhances the performance compared to the MOD approach, which suggests that IU based association is limited for sparse radar data, especially for instances comprising single detections. Furthermore, the attention-based appearance feature leads to a better performance compared to the contrastive association of the CA net. Overall, the combination of the geometric and appearance features help to improve the tracking quality. The design decisions are backed up with ablation studies in our original paper. To summarize, our model performs reliable moving instance tracking and only needs sparse and noisy radar point clouds as input. We include the temporal offset information within our offset prediction module and incorporate geometric and appearance features to outperform state-of-the-art approaches. More information can be found in our paper, which you can access via the QR code. Thank you for listening and special thanks to my co-authors and reviewers.